Hello and welcome to episode 1 of Minecraft Mod Sanctuary. I'm Akabane101, your host, and we're going to be looking at one of the best mods ever created for Minecraft. It's beautiful, it's sleek, it's stylish, it's awesome. No, it's not Thomcraft 2. It's NEI. NEI was created by Chicken Bones, and a tutorial will be displayed at the end of this video to see how you can exactly install it. But for now, let's take a look at what NEI does for you and what makes it so darn awesome. So when you first want to use NEI, all you have to do is bring up your inventory by pressing the corresponding key that you have preset. If you're brand new to Minecraft right now, or Minecraft not modding, and you do not have any changed hotkeys, that should be the E key. So simply press E on your keyboard to bring up your inventory, and you'll see this new kind of interface that you get to use. Now. You may be a little bit confused about exactly what you need to do to make NEI work perfectly. But do not be alarmed because it is quite easy. So the first thing we're going to look at right now is the top left of the screen. And also keep in mind this should be the screen that you will be seeing when you first turn NEI on. If NEI is off like this, simply press O on your keyboard to bring up the interface. Likewise to turn it back off. So ensure that this is on. If you do not see the screen after pressing O, you may have done something wrong with your installation. On the top left, we have deletion mode. So say we have some items, and I'll get to how we put these items in your inventory in a moment. If you have some items, you can left click on delete mode, like I just did here. As you can see, it's lit up. We can left click now on our blocks that we do not want to have on us anymore. So goodbye grass blocks, they have been deleted from the world and do not exist anymore, at least in my inventory. You can also turn that off and go back to left clicking your items as much as you need. Another thing you can do is you can take your items and drag them over to the deletion bin, much like you would do this on your desktop to delete certain items you do not need and put them into your recycling bin. Just simply left click on the, on the trash can and those items are now deleted from your inventory. A much nice and clean way to not have to worry about deleting your items. But there is another way to do this, and I'll get into that right now. At the bottom left of the screen, you will see Options. Left click on Options, and go ahead and find Item Drops. And when you find Item Drops, you'll see that it's currently enabled. What does that mean? Let's click Done for the moment, and exit out of our inventory by pressing E once again. Item drops al allows items to be dropped by anything that is destroyed, uh, such as these blocks here. As you can see, they are out in the world. I'm throwing blocks on the ground. They are instantly, uh, or sorry, they are always going to be out on the ground. Now to remove that, go to your options here and simply left click on the item drops enabled. This will make them disabled. Ah, pretty interesting, right? All our blocks have disappeared. And even blocks that you destroy will no longer be dropping items. This is extremely useful for creators that do not want to have to worry about uh, blocks simply falling everywhere. If they drop, if you throw out your items, they'll instantly be deleted from the world. You can drop an entire stack of stuff. That is very, very awesome to uh, to have that with NEI. The next thing we can look at on our extra cheats here is we can take a look at the turn on rain. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Just left click on turn on rain. When it's lit up, you'll see that rain starts to appear. In this case, I'm in a snow biome, so therefore snow appears. The next thing you can look at is turn creative mode on. This will basically switch your world from survival mode to creative mode, but you can switch back and forth instantly. This is really nice for people that want to just quickly go around and fly around their world and see exactly what they want to do. For instance, I can now see that there's a jungle biome way over there. I would have had to do that in survival mode. Maybe I wanted to build a treehouse in creative. Now, next thing we should look at is turning the time from darkness to light. 
So, there's four different options for time right now on NEI. You can set it to dawn, you can set it to noon, and as you can see, the sun should be exactly at 12 o'clock. You can set it at dusk, meaning the sun should almost be gone. And, of course, you can set it to midnight, which is 12 a.m. And you'll see the moon is directly above me. This is really nice if you need a light, uh, if you need a bright or dark work environment for uh, when you are creating certain things. Uh, especially really useful for machinima artists that want to have certain kinds of uh, times while they're uh, doing their their awesomeness with machinima. Next thing we should take a look at is the magnet mode. So we're going to go ahead and go back into options and turn our item drops back to enabled. And what we are going to do is grab some blocks and simply, well, I'm actually going to turn on. Okay, don't, good. I don't have it turned on. Haha. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to just throw some items out on the ground. There you go. Doesn't really matter what items you're throwing out there. Just throw them out. And we're going to turn magnet mode on. As you can see, all the items just got sucked up right here, which is really, really cool. And if we grab our mining laser, and don't worry, I'll explain how this search bar works in a moment, but a mining laser is from IC2. As you can see, if you shoot into the walls here, you can uh, get all the items that you need. So anyone that wants to keep the items that they destroy, they can easily pick them up and not have a huge mess, because a lot of people have a lot of issues with lag when items are just everywhere and uh, you can't really do too much with them. As you can see, the blocks are moving around, doing everything in their power to go ahead and basically get collected by you, which is extremely, extremely useful. Okay, so next thing uh, we can take a look at is, say I injure myself a little bit. So I'm in creative mode, accidentally turn it off, injure myself a bit, um, or I was fighting something. There's this awesome thing called heal the player, and simply left click, it completely heals up your health bar, and it gives you maximum food, which is extremely good. You can go on and continue your work, uh, considering if you were specifically going to be staying in survival mode for a little bit longer, but you did not want to get injured. Simple and useful. Uh, I really do love that about NEI. So let's move on to how you obtain items using NEI. Well, anyone that knows TMI will be very used to the old interface that uh, NEI allows you to use. It's very similar and it works almost exactly the same. All you have to do to grab a full stack of items is left click on the item you want. So if we want stone, we simply left click, we get 64 pieces in our inventory. But what if I only wanted one piece? Well, let's say I want a couple pieces of sand. Simply right click on the item and it generally goes up by one. As you can see, we now have eight pieces because we clicked on it eight times. Very simple to use. You can navigate this entire screen by clicking on the next button to look at all the items you have. Another cool feature that this has is you're also able to see recipes. Recipes is one of the nice things that NEI has gotten, uh, which really sets the bar for inventory finding uh, GUIs and everything like that. So let's see how we make a bookshelf. All you have to do is press R over while hovering over the bookshelf and you'll see how we can make it. As you can see it takes six pieces of wind planks and three books. There's also other types of ways to mess with it using maybe red power. That's right, even other things such as red power, industrial craft, and any mods that you're using with NEI will show up and recipes will show up while using NEI. It's just that awesome. Now what if you needed to find a specific item and you did not want to go all the way through all of these items and you have no idea what you're looking at. Say you are new with all these new different mods that you may have installed or even vanilla Minecraft. Maybe you're just new with that but you have NEI just to help you out while you're crafting new things. This is what sets NEI apart from creative mode and other things that allow, the, allow you to obtain items that you need. Simply go down to this search bar here at the bottom and left click. You'll see that you get this little indicator saying that you can type. 
All you have to do is type in maybe furnace, press enter, and as you can see on the top right of the screen, anything with the name furnace has appeared. The vanilla furnaces have uh, appeared. For some reason, I have two separate block IDs for that. There's the alloy furnace from Red Power, the blue elect the blue electric furnace from Red Power, and the al also the blue electric alloy furnace from Red Power. But we also have the dark matter and red matter furnaces from Equivalent Exchange. Let me turn it back to daytime. We even have the arcane furnace from Thomcraft 2, the iron furnace from Industrial Craft, including the electric furnace and the induction furnace. So something definitely awesome to look into. And also the cool thing, it even uses wildcard characters. So say I were to type question mark, uh, BL question mark CK, it'll be anything that's black or block or anything that has a different uh, letter between those, those words here. So as you can see, grass block, ruby block, uranium block, but also we have black wool and we even have black lamp. So as you can see, the wildcard characters can help you out in case you're looking for something that uh, you can't exactly spell, but you will be able to find it if you know the rest of the of the words, which is really cool, and I enjoy that quite a bit from NEI. And I'm sure anyone that is a creator or needs to find certain things while they're doing their survival mode and need to look up, say, how to make a uranium block... So one important thing to note is that in the current version for 1.2.3 of NEI is that anything in Industrial Craft 3, you cannot use recipe mode. You can, however, grab items that you want, but you cannot find the recipe. It simply crashes Minecraft. But they did fix it in 1.2.5. So if you are going to be watching this video by the time 1.2.5 is released, which should be already by the time you guys get to see this video, any eye when it's updated will be fixed to use this. But you can go ahead and see how you can make other items such as the block breaker and everything like that. So definitely a really solid uh, thing to use when you need it, uh, when you need recipes for your survival mode and when you need to get blocks for your creative mode. Another thing to note is that if you want to remove everything here, simply right click on the search bar to remove it. Now you're using NEI, you're getting all the blocks that you need and you feel good. These are the blocks that you feel that you're going to be using a lot in your test world. You have all the blocks that you want to be using uh, when you are going ahead and you know doing certain builds or you need to uh, explain your own spotlights for mods. And you have all your weapons in the perfect position. You got your shovels, your pickaxes, your your axes, uh, your your jukeboxes, uh, your music note blocks, your obsidian. Everything is perfect. You have it all set up, and uh, you want a way to leave Minecraft or to go, you know, do something else, but not maybe not with the same blocks. But you want to come back with these uh, a little bit later. But this is just the perfect layout for you. You want to be using it again. Um, NEI allows you to save your current setting. And it even saves your armor as well. So say I equip my armor. Like so. There we go. So I have all my armor equipped. All you have to do is click on one of these awesome save things. And they remember what you were using um, at this current state. So if I click on save one, it'll become load one. So let's say I delete everything in here, my armor, oh no, I lost some of my items, I don't remember what I had on me, no worries, let's simply click on load one and it gives me all the stuff I had current, uh, or recently, and this saves throughout the whole time. So if I were to go in a different world, I'd be able to use load one again, and on um, any other test worlds or anything like that, uh, it'll work. You have no issues with this at all. It works perfectly and you can have multiple saves. Another nice thing you can do is you can right click on this. You can also rename it if you feel like it. So you can just rename it and uh, there you go. Now it does uh, extend the GUI a little bit, but that's what all this extra space is for anyway. So nothing to worry about. Now if you don't want this anymore, you can just simply go ahead and press X and it will rename, sorry, it will delete this, but it will keep your name. So you can always just right click again and type in one 
and there you go you have it reset to just save one so definitely a really awesome way to use an EI and remember what you need for when you go to different worlds and you need the same items like before now another thing that NEI has on it which sets the bar uh, higher than other things that allow you to get certain items for yourself is that it shows you recipes for Red Power 2. Now you do have to download an add-on and with that add-on it actually shows uh, what you can make in the alloy furnace. So simply press the R key on your red alloy ingot and you can see that in the red alloy furnace it takes four pieces of redstone and an iron ingot and it shows you all the things that you can cook inside of your uh, red alloy furnace and yes you could even cook a trap door or a jukebox now sometimes when you're trying to search through all your items you may notice that if you say have red power 2 and you have all these uh, different types of slabs and blocks and corner pieces and everything like that you may just not want to have them uh, in any eye there is a way to remove these just temporarily so you can go on and find the rest of the things that you need. So all you have to do is now go to item subsets which is at the top of your GUI and go down and hover over red power. You can then go down to micro blocks which are all of these things that we were just looking at all these micro blocks and if you do not want to see them while you're searching through any eye to make your life a little bit easier all you can do, also all you should do is just right click over micro blocks and it will specifically remove all micro blocks from the list. Now you can go ahead and search through this through all the things that you want to be looking at. Sometimes you may want to remove specific things like let's right click or sorry let's left click on the blocks here to bring them back. Maybe we do not want to see mob spawners. So let's go ahead and right click on mob spawners and now mob spawners have been removed from the list. Before we saw mob spawners up at the top, they are no longer there. If we want to bring them back, we just have to hover over it and left click on top of mob spawners and the mob spawners have returned. Same thing for red power. If we wanted to uh, uh, bring back micro blocks, you just have to left quick click. Um, you can remove all red power things, or vanilla things, or even just normal items. And NEI allows for you to go ahead and edit item subsets through a config file that allows you to make certain subsets on your own. I personally do not know how to do that, and I will not get into that during this video. So I apologize for that. A few other things you may want to look into under the options menu which is on your inventory at the bottom left of corner of the screen is pay attention to NEI global options and NEI map options or world options there. So this is your NEI world options. These are everything that's going to happen in this specific area. So what you can do is you can enable or disable NEI. So if you do not want NEI running at all, you can generally turn that off. But also keep in mind with it enabled, all you have to do is press O and NEI will go away. There's no way you can click on anything and accidentally spawn stuff for yourself. But a nice thing about NEI is it allows you to play in the way you want. So if we take a look here, we can go to cheat mode, recipe mode, or utility mode. I have to also go to global options here and turn this to utility mode. Utility mode basically makes it so you can turn magnet mode on and delete mode on, but you have no saves on the left and you shouldn't be able to spawn any items. Uh, so utility mode is specifically meant so you can just go ahead and turn your magnet mode on and your delete mode on, um, but you're still just using recipes and everything like that. Uh, you can't spawn items in for yourself. Now maybe some people don't want to have any cheats at all, so let's go back to options. And now keep in mind that if you're going to be, if you are specifically only messing with world options, everything should work normally. Um, but you sh should also go into your global options because sometimes uh, world options is a little bit buggy and doesn't work on its own for the specific world you're on. So you have to go to global options and go ahead and change this over to recipe mode for the next one. And we'll change this one to recipe mode for... Uh, you know, just for luck. <laughs> and as you can see on the top left, 
this has been removed, all your saves have been removed, uh, but they're not, you know, disappeared forever. They'll still be there if you go back to cheat mode. But the nice thing is, is now you specifically only have uh, these loading, these recipes here that you can choose from. And you can also still just press O and uh, remove the screen. And you can just press E to go back to your inventory and E to back out. Other things we can go into in options here is there's also item IDs. You can show your item IDs or hide them. The IDs are the numbers that are next to your name. Uh, or sorry, are next to the names of the things that you go over. So purple wool uh, is just going to be shown as purple wool, but with that on, or with the item IDs shown, you can see that this is 44, oh sorry, purple wool is 35, 10, to the ratio of 10. I don't exactly know entirely what that is, but yeah, that's just, uh, that's how it works. If you're someone that likes to mod Minecraft, this is really awesome for you because you can go to block slash item ID settings and go to show unused block IDs. A lot of people may have issues trying to find certain block IDs and NEI allows you just to quickly find these so you can go into your config files and reset them. So let me go ahead and remove uh, the red power micro blocks here. And as you can see, we have some unused blocks. So 195 is unused, 206, 207, 209 to 217. All of these unused blocks are avail available for you to use for your block IDs. So say Industrial Craft is already is, is using up one of the block IDs that you don't want, you can use this to change that. So you will have no issues in the future. Definitely go ahead and write these down for yourself. Um, now, one thing that NEI does do is it actually goes really far down. I All I know is that the block IDs that are truly available to you are the ones that go up to 400. So definitely keep that in mind. It really extends this out completely. So you definitely want that turned off after you're done modding. But other than that, it's a really useful thing to use. So you can go ahead and hide, and that should be everything you need to know. There's other things that you can do here, um, but generally you are not going to need to mess with those. So we're going to go say done for that. We're going to go back into the options, and I believe that is basically everything. Oh, there's also Minecraft layout. You can go old TMI layout, which is the same as what TMI was doing. And let me go back into cheat mode here so you can see exactly what I'm looking at. A more uh, sleek and stylish looking uh, thing. It's exactly the same as what TMI looked like um, when it was, you know, being used. Um, but it just looks a little bit sleeker up here on the top left. You can see all the dots and everything. Really nice looking. I prefer the uh, the Minecraft one. It just, you know, feels more like Minecraft. Uh, let me go back to the world options here and go click on this. You can go back to the Minecraft layout or the old TMI layout which you uh, can see here. Both really awesome. Now, right now, we're going to learn how to install NEI for 1.2.3. Now, if NEI for 1.2.5 has been released, keep watching this tutorial because it's the exact same way as how you install it this way, only that it's just going to be a future updated version. And keep in mind that 1.2.5 will have the industrial craft recipe fixed, so then you'll be able to look at all your industrial craft recipes with no problems. I will also be covering how to install the Red Power 2 plugin, as well as the Railcraft 2 plugin. They're very simple, and it really does not take up too much of your time. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is go to Minecraft and simply launch it. We're going to log into Minecraft. I'm going to say no to updating because I want to keep my mods in 1.2.3. Always keep in mind that you want to try and not update unless you know that you have the mods for that certain level of uh, your update. So I'm just going to expand this just a little bit, but you don't have to. Uh, let's go into our texture packs and simply click on open texture pack folder. And I'm going to just close Minecraft now. You don't need it open anymore. And in our texture packs here, we're going to click on Minecraft. And there you go. You have your .minecraft folder open and ready to go. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. Now go into the description of this video and you'll be able to find that there is a link to... Uh, oh, let me go back here. There'll be a link to this link here. We're going to scroll up to the top and you'll see where we have the kitty cat chicken bones. 
awesome guy, awesome dude, who has made this mod. Um, and you just want to scroll down here until you get to these spoilers. And basically, you'll see that there's a code chicken core for 1.2.3. This may be updated in the future and say 1.2.5 or higher, depending on when you guys are watching this video. We're going to go show the spoiler. Now, if this were to say 1.2.5 and you wanted it for 1.2.3, you'd have to look down here and you'd see that. Um, but if this is just says 1.2.3 at the moment, that means this is currently only updated for 1.2.3. And that means when you click on the client button here, which we will right now for our version of Minecraft, it'll say, please wait for five seconds and then click on skip add. It'll tell you to save your file and it'll download the core. Now we are not done yet, there's still a few more things, or if you're not using any other mods at the moment, just one more thing to download. Next thing you need to do is obviously install NEI. So let's go ahead and show this spoiler. And we're gonna go into install instructions and downloads. Uh, you can see that right here. And this is obviously for 1.2.3 because it says that right at the top. So first thing you're going to need to do is download via client for NDI. And then you're going to want to, if you have Red Power installed on your current Minecraft, simply click on the Red Power plugin, download that. If you have Railcraft installed, click on the Railcraft plugin and download those. Now keep in mind you will also need the Railcraft client um, if you have Railcraft. This is not do not download these if you don't have Red Power or if you don't have Railcraft. That's just going to be counterproductive and you don't need those. If you're specifically not using these, uh, the Red Power mod or the Railcraft mod, do not download these. You do not need to. Otherwise, just keep make sure you have uh, not enough items and you're going to go to your downloads. There you go. So you go to your downloads. We'll minimize our Firefox here. And we'll go into our mods folder oh sorry uh yeah, yeah our mods folder so if you do not currently have a mods folder just go ahead and make a new one and make them all low caps m-o-d-s for mods and let's open up the folder and what you want to do is you want to take your code chicken core click and drag and drop it into your mods folder bam you are now allowed to use anything that code chicken creates. The code chicken core has enabled this to happen for 1.2.3. As you can see, code chicken core is right there. Now, if you're using red power or if you're using railcraft, go ahead and throw those in here too. And those will start working as well. Now, the cream of the crop, the one that you came here for to learn how to install, is we gotta go to our bin folder, and then we gotta go to our minecraft.jar. Simply right click, Use 7-zip or go to open with WinWare Archiver. Uh, I personally use 7-zip and we'll open the archive. And as you can see, it brings up this. Now you may see an, uh, a folder called meta-inf. If you do, delete it. It will make you have a black screen and it will not work. So make sure that is deleted before you install this mod and then you will be good to go. Next thing you have to do is go to not enough items dash client dash 1.2.0. Double click on that. If you have WinWare or 7-Zip, it'll open up like this. Box everything except for like the two dots at the top. Click and drag to the bottom part here and it will be installed. Congratulations, you've just installed NEI. You are now able to use it. Feel free to go ahead and launch Minecraft. See if it works. I know it will. If it is not, that means you may have the wrong version of Minecraft. So make sure that you are on the correct version of Minecraft and using the correct version of NEI. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Of course, feel free to leave a like if this video helped you in any way. And click the subscribe button if you haven't already for some more future mod spotlights. And I'm McAvane101, and see you guys. Have a great day.